Is God real? Yes. Is God? Is he living in the sky? No. Then who is God? God is an energy of creation, and we are part of that creation. You have a seed and energy of bringing another soul to life which make you a god of your own. Remember, you are created in his image right. They say, don't observe this literally. It simply means whatever God's spirit is capable of doing was planted inside you. The godly power is within you. You can heal yourself. You can count on yourself. You have a gut and voices in your head that always lead you without you even realizing. It's all you. Your Christ consciousness. Not any miraculous being in the sky. This is all fiction. You are too old to believe all this. Let's discuss this analogy. If I don't pray every day, I won't have food to eat right, and I will go to hell right. What is this? This is an evil deed. It's not godly. A father will protect all his children at all costs. All you learn from religion is fear-based. Worry about the possibility of going to hell. Children are often forced to attend church because it feels like an obligation rather than a choice and children have a gut feeling that something isn't quite right. When something aligns with your real beliefs and values, it resonates profoundly within you. This is an ancestral fear, an unbroken legacy that transcends generations. This is an installation that will last a lifetime. Considering the fact that they were capable of unraveling the intricacies of human anatomy, it would be illogical for them to not have authored a book called the Bible to rule over you and your kin. Think about it. These people are smart. They have studied your psychology for years and years. They know how you think and how you behave. Welcome to the Sandy, the home of knowledge.